um, for the sign of Gemini. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has a curiosity about Gemini or those of you with Gemini strongly in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For right now, let's pull the weekly reading for Gemini now. Um, let's get started. Let's hear for Gemini. Let's hear for Gemini. Let's hear for Gemini for the week of the 23rd through the 29th. Nine of Pentacles flipping over. All right. I like to see that Three of Pentacles. I like to see that. It's good. Woo. That's it. Let's see what we have here. Starting off with death, rebirth, energy, knight of swords, king of swords, there you are, three of pentacles, we have the page of wands, seven of swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. We also have the King of Cups with the Two of Cups. Okay, Gemini, let's go ahead and just move into this week. Um, as you're moving into this week and through the first half of this week, you're going to be embodying the King of Cups energy. Uh, really taking uh, some small steps and, and going into action here, Gemini, to help to bring in uh, comfort, a sense of warmth, a sense of coziness, a sense of togetherness um, into your home or into your work or, or the place where you spend a lot of time, Gemini. You are taking steps now and, and moving into action to help to bring in well-being and health into yeah into your home or into your workplace um you're doing this gemini because i i feel like you are feeling better like you are feeling better and you're and you and you have this new energy now to do this uh you have been in a situation that you really haven't had a whole lot of control in gemini i mean whatever's happened here to you um you really haven't been able to affect it. That's the death energy. Like when it comes, it comes, right? Whether it's an actual death that has been around you that you went through over the past time or wh whether it's a situation that you are in that you really have like not a whole, whole lot of control and you might have really had to give up a lot. This could have really stung. It could have felt unfair. You just could have been in a time of where in many ways, like what had worked for you before weren't, it wasn't working anymore. And you went through some sort of, some sort of a change, Gemini. And now you're in a place where you're feeling much stronger. Um, you, you really do understand what's important to you and you, and you understand how you feel good and what helps you to feel good and how you can, help bring well-being around you as well. And, and I think that you're happy uh, to take action in this way. Many of you, there are words to be said, right? There, there are communications to be made. Gemini, the, many of you are communicating something um, quite important in, in the first half of this week, a special message, or even communicating a certain kind of plan, plan of attack, a strategy, some sort of you know, uh, some sort of way forward that's that's very important right now. And this focus that you have is helping to bring well-being, helping to bring betterment into the situation, helping to bring warmth and compassion and love um, and caring. It's helping to bring those elements in in, in a stronger way. Gemini, I mean, I, I think we, we have you here uh, or we have a partner here. And I think for many of you, this is a partner, a partner to you, someone that's been around you. I think you're, you're seeing now the, the ways that you two can work together. I, I feel like in the past, there's been this, 
just a, a feeling like it's not been fair or it hasn't been pleasant. There's something here that wasn't really right before. But I think what you're recognizing here, Gemini, in, in a strong masculine sense, that there is a value to teamwork, that there is a value um, to it. Like you're recognizing the value of it uh, before you might have felt how it could have hurt you or it couldn't, it could be un, unfair. Yeah, I can feel like in inside, like there, there is ways that you felt or things that you thought um, that it's just not really like that anymore. In fact, I think you're seeing now how this situation can be in a, in a much healthier way, like some sort of strategy that you figured out with this team that you have here, um, whether this is love, uh, uh, partners in love, or whether this is like family connections, or whether this is colleagues at work, like this is the strong teamwork that you're embodying the second half of this week. Um, and you understand your potential connected to this team and your partner's potential connected to this team and how well things go when you're working and acting and, and being in unison. And I feel, Gemini, that there is like this new way about this, this new strategy about this, this new, in a way, like regulating it, keeping control of it, um, understanding it so that you can really be strong for each other rather than being weak for each other being strong for each other rather than being mean to each other there there is just this strengthening now um, for gemini in with connections to other people people that are connected quite tightly quite importantly to us and i feel gemini as you're exiting out of this week uh, you're in the ten of pentacles uh, mindset and you're you're and you're moving into the three of pentacles so uh, there's something here i mean there there's work to be done now there's progress to be made and and this connects in with family it connects in with um management of money it connects in with long-term goals and long-term visions um purchases and expenses and management of all of that the ten of pentacles is management of a legacy and that takes work to manage money it takes work to manage a home and to manage um vacations and and expenses and and all of the things that come with a household and a family and togetherness as a family but and and there's recognition here that that is what's happening this sort of teamwork is creating a future of success it is creating stability it is creating a happy home and i think gemini there is there is like a a value that's placed on what we can do together as a team. And in some ways, I think this is somewhat new. Like you've always had this team and you've always had this group, but in the end of this week, there's going to be such a beautiful willingness. Uh, there's something here that's worth working on. It's something here that's so valuable and it holds so much potential and it's so worth working on. And in this team that I see here, there is this willingness, this industriousness, um, this, this participation that I see that's, that's all revolving around something here that you're working on together that is going to help bring in a gentleness in life and long-term stability into the pocketbook, into the household, and into the long and connecting in with the long-term vision. So this is a week of addressing true concerns, understanding how things have changed, seeing the value of some sort of partnership, and working together in something that has a lot of potential. This could be for love, it could be for work, it could be something that you're doing within the family. It could really resonate in so many ways. Uh, but I think Gemini, you're feeling strong, you're, you're ready to take action. You have this new energy and this new excitement about you. And in many ways, you're just, it's like you're kicking up, it, it's like I'm just seeing this motion, you're kicking up your heel here at, the, at death. You're, that's what you're doing. Hop, skip, and a jump. You're you're just like giving it the finger is what you're doing. 
And look, oh my gosh, there's a finger. It's it's not the finger I was thinking of, but it's a finger. <laughs> That's what you're doing to the death energy. Let's see here. Um, let me go into a couple of these cards before I move over to the extended. Hmm. I want to go into this Knight of Swords. See if we can get a little bit more information here about what's being done. Justice. Fairness. Yeah, maybe it just hasn't been fair before. I mean, in reality, Gemini, maybe there was misunderstandings and maybe people just didn't know and maybe there wasn't enough confidence and, and maybe this situation came from like feeling unworthy and, and inept rather than overcoming those feelings and really working together. I, I really feel like there were feelings here and situations here that just weren't really very helpful. And so in whatever you're doing here, Gemini, you're making it fair. You're realizing the importance of keeping it equal and balanced and looking at all the sides and making good decisions. I mean, you're in a very strong place with that emperor. Yeah. It's all in how it's, it's, it's all in the strategy. It's all in how it's laid out. It's, it's about the process. It's about the system. It's really becoming a master at at making this truly work, like work as in, as in a machine, like working as smooth as a machine. That's how you'd like it to be, Gemini. That's how I feel anyway. Your energy is really strong in this reading. Like you just want it to be efficient. You want it to be smooth. You don't want to have any complications. And, and, it, and it needs to be fair. And I think you're recognizing how it can be fair. And I think you are connecting in to a, to a masculine that is quite confident now, who is in many ways a master in his own path. Many of you have strong masculines that you're connecting with and really uh, working on your own kingdoms together. This is really being strong and being able to communicate effectively and fairly, um, uh, uh, com communicate effectively and think fairly about situations. It's very cool. Libra energy, Aries energy, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Right, let's look at the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Lover's energy. I mean, when you guys are together and working well, it's really damn fun. It's very, it's very sexy. It's very, it, it, very magnetic. When you guys are together and working well, it really is like a, a beautiful thing to experience. It's just when it gets out of sorts that it's hard. Um, it's fool energy just basically flipping out, not really making it on the table. But this could be something that you really haven't experienced before. This, this peacefulness and success that's coming in. Working together so effectively. Oh, that Knight of Wands uh, coming out too. Um, there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of excitement, uh, forward movement now. I really think the thinking and the strategy has been done. The hard work has been done, Gemini. Now it's just like putting it into action. I think this is going to be really fun. And I think um, how you're experiencing this is really fun and intimate and very special. I say as you're moving out of the end of this week, there's something here that you're truly really enjoying doing. I think in many ways you're in love with whatever this is. Um, in love with the experience or in love with the person, in love with the potential. There is like this being in love with this um, and so excited about moving forward, B being totally entangled up in this, <laughs> totally entangled up in whatever the situation is. I love it. 
All right, my friends, I am going to move on to the extended now. This energy is just really clear. And and um, and for the weekly reading, I, I mean, I think that's all the information we have. And I think that's okay for a weekly reading. I'm just used to having them be longer. But I don't know, it just flowed out. And it's just that that's the reading. That's it. So, okay, my friends, I am uh, officially done with this weekly extended reading. I'm moving over now, or this weekly reading. I'm moving over to the extended reading now. Uh, and we are going to look at uh, for Gemini. And we're also going to look at love for Gemini. And we're going to look at money for Gemini. All right, my friends, I will see you over to the extended if you would like to go there. Otherwise, I will see you on YouTube next week with another reading for Gemini. All right. Thank you very much.